Hello, so I'm here with uh, HPE to talk about private 5G networks. Terrific topic, really interesting from a technology point of view. Uh, but Oded um, from HPE, also just as interesting from the point of view of the enterprise, how it helps them with their, with their business process, their productivity. What kind of companies are you seeing interested in private 5G? Right, yeah, we, we see it in so many enterprises, so many verticals, so maybe better to talk about the typical motivations. We see two kinds of motivations. The first kind of motivation is those enterprises who need autonomous operations, uh, such as remote oil rig, military units, all those that are in remote location and can't rely on shared resources and need to, to have all in their control. So we call this model 5G in a box, as the entire deployment is self-contained and operated by the remote team. The second kind of motivation that we see are enterprises that have got specific requirements for connectivity. It can be large facilities like agricultural farms, ports, industrial sites, etc., that need very large area coverage. It can be enterprises that look for high reliability connectivity, like in manufacturing lines, or it can be organizations that depend on low latency, such as hospitals. Anyway, these organizations need such feature at the edge, but they want to optimize the cost of complexity of deploying a private 5G network. So the preferred model is what we call, the preferred model for them is what we call distributed private 5G, where the critical elements are right there at the edge of the network next to the user and application and what needs to be serviced. And the control plane is cloudified for better economics of scale and easy operation. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Another topic uh, to talk about is the, the relationship between private mobile and Wi-Fi. Enterprise Wi-Fi is obviously incumbent wireless technology delivers huge amount of value, is getting better all the time. How does private 5G relate to Wi-Fi from, from, from your perspective and, and your customers? Yeah, indeed. Yeah, most enterprises today use Wi-Fi and, and are generally happy with that for in-office connectivity, right? So, and we don't see private 5G replacing Wi-Fi, but augmented it. Augmenting it as a more robust connectivity option for specific use cases. So when the enterprise that we see looking to augment Wi-Fi with private 5G are typically either those with very large facility that need to expand maybe to the outdoors or have machinery that is mobile and they need better connectivity for mobile things or organizations that can't tolerate any downtime or service degradation such as in manufacturing or healthcare. So all of these expect to have interwalking between Wi-Fi and 5G and private 5G, interwalking in two main aspects. One, the operation of the network. At the end of the day, it's the same team at the enterprise that deals with both Wi-Fi and private 5G. So they need to use the same interface and the same control for both. That's one. The second is the continuity of sessions. If you think that you have two technology to connect your things or people or what have you, you need to have a control plane that is interlinked with the same user ID carried over between the networks. And so the application context is kept. So for us, Wi-Fi and private 5G are totally augmentation of each other, and they need to be designed in a way that they can be operated together and, and used in an applicational way together as if they were one network. Yeah, I think there's some good points there. Certainly, um, many of the operators we've seen that are offering uh, uh, private mobile as a service combine it with Wi-Fi as, a, as some sort of a managed service or something of that nature. Um, speaking of which, huge topic as well is, is the role of the operator. Um, does private 5G mean they get deployed you know, outside of the operator? Does the operator bring a value here? What's your perspective? Yeah, of course, yes. So obviously, most enterprises are not set to deploy and operate private 5G by themselves, as they do for Wi-Fi pretty well. 
So the option is working either with the CSP or with the system integrator or with the hyperscalers that some of, some of them are entering that space. And CSP are in a good position. They are a good position first because they can offer the local services to the enterprise, both in terms of local availability of skills. They have the people in the country, in the place, and in terms of radio coverage at the area. So they know how to deploy radio and they know how to, to purchase radio frequency and, and they know to offer it to customers. Uh, and, all, and the third thing is the operation. Operations is the strength of CSPs. And many, many CSP already have experience in operating for enterprises, like in rich communication or previous generation networks such as 4G or Tetra. In private 5G, however, operators shall plan for scale of operation. They need to consider which tasks are to be delegated to the enterprises. We don't want a CSP to become a bottleneck involved in provisioning of every single user. And which ta tasks shall be automated. We don't want those, auto those activities that are delegated, that are kept by the CSP to be queued up or, or latent. So automation is key. And of course, that requires having private 5G operational suite that is flexible and configurable enough to address these, these requirements. Yeah, good stuff. Interesting to hear about that that balance in the operational model and, and making sure everyone knows knows their job and 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 um so on. Okay, so final question here, Ed. Um how do, how do you how do private networks map to uh, an enterprise cloud strategy? Obviously, that's quite a multifaceted question. Um, but just give us the, the outlines, if you would. Yeah, right. So, yeah, when you plan a private 5G, you need to find the right balance of what to keep local and what to offload to a central cloud. You can put the entire network at the edge, like we do in the 5G in the box model that I mentioned, which is, which is decent. It's the right choice when you want severe autonomy. But a more optimized model is the distributed cloud deployment where the critical elements such as the user plane functions are physically at the enterprise edge, next to the app, next to the user, to ensure low latency and high reliability. And the less critical elements such as the control function can be deployed on a central cloud, often by a CSP, and operated centrally for multiple locals or enterprises. This is the general model we offer in most cases, as it allows the flexibility of different kinds of usages, with unlimited scalability. So it works pretty well for enterprises, the NCSPs. Good, ton of stuff to dig into there, but um, Oded, thanks for the overview. Uh, really great to get your, your perspective on, on, on those four points. Look forward to chatting again. Thank you.